Hey. Hey. What the hell is going on in Greenwich? Uh, did you see this story? Huh, Greenwich. <laughs> yes. Did you see it? Yes, I did. That's nutty. Very nutty. An assistant principal in Greenwich is on administrative leave after a video surfaced online that purport, uh, purportedly shows him talking about discriminatory hiring practices. I don't know if you look at the video. It's not really purportedly. It's like... It's yeah, like right well, there with Lee. <laughs> it's like most assuredly. It's pretty clear. It's, it's right, pretty clear. It's right there with Lee. Not leaving a lot of room for error. Yeah. The now viral video released by Project Veritas, Veritas uh, shows Costco Elementary School assistant principal... Jeremy Bowen saying that he wouldn't hire Catholics, conservatives, older applicants, or anyone he didn't believe was progressive. Uh-huh. Everybody's uh, spouting out about it now. You know, everybody's commenting this isn't right. Well, yeah, because, you know, now that's like, you know. <laughs> now I have to say, well, well, get out. Yeah, well, no, of course not. No. <laughs> Go and have us a secret out. <laughs> So about 9.30 last night, the first selectman at Greenwich said, yeah, I'll come on and talk to you. Uh -huh. uh, and then uh, I guess this morning he said, ah, I might be working out. Oh, okay. This I early. Got, I got that thing. Right. I got that thing. I got that take care of the thing. <laughs> yeah, I got that thing I'm going to not really be doing. Yeah. So we text back, uh, how about 7 o'clock? Yeah. Crickets. Really? Okay. Okay. So basically. Why yeah. don't you just tell us. Just say you've no. changed your mind. Yeah. I don't feel like doing it. I don't feel like it's a whole deal. Yeah. I don't want to say something that now becomes the story. Right. I don't want to blow the rest of the secret of Greenwich. <laughs> yeah. So I was going to ask, when, uh, you know, what does the first selectman think? Right. So it's a fair question. Governor's like, yeah, nope, not good. Stefanowski, no, not good. Blumenthal, nope. Everybody's nope, nope. This nope, ain't nope, good. Nope. Right. Wow. Achieve the impossible. Everybody has united. <laughs> yeah. At least in quotes. Exactly, yeah. I, wasn't gonna I don't think of philosophy. Right. It feels like we all kind of know this, but this guy was dumb enough to say it. Say it out loud. Yeah, exactly, yes. Yeah, he, he his inner thoughts came out. I think half the country's like, yeah, good. It's what we want. Amazing. Oh, there's a lawsuit coming now. Yep, but it's a coming. Greenwich has tons of money, though. Do they care about lawsuits? No, they just paid. Mm. They just, you know, they have a budget for lawsuits off to the side there. They're going to have an investigation now. I don't know what. What is that, uh, you know? Right. And then it's going to be sensitivity let's, 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 training, let's, yada, yada. I, I think they got to do two things. They got to look at the video. It's like, okay, he said it. Uh, and, and then they have to um, look through all the applicants. Right. While this guy was the assistant principal. Who didn't get a job? Kent Pierce, News 8 on the show. Hey, man. Hey, good morning, guys. Good morning. morning. Uh, what's the deal? You want to just run us through it from the top? Well, and right off the bat, we should talk about the source of this video, and that is Project Veritas. Uh, this is a highly partisan group that's been uh, accused of deceptive practices before. It specializes in these undercover gotcha videos. So this is a very highly edited video. So look, several grains of salt I want to take this information with, but... Uh, what the video seems to show is the assistant principal of an elementary school in Greenwich saying that he... Hey, Ken, I'm to, sorry. I'm having a hard time hearing you. Can you move the phone just a little bit? Uh, I'm, I'm doing my best, guys. There we go. That's um, it. So this, this highly edited video seems to show the assistant principal of the Greenwich Elementary School saying he does not like to hire... Catholics, conservatives, or anybody over the age of 30 because they don't share his progressive ideologies. And this, of course, has created a huge firestorm, a political firestorm in Greenwich and kind of all over the state because uh, Senate candidate Leora Levy has latched onto this. She was at a rally outside the um, calling for an investigation about this. That assistant principal has been placed on leave. And uh, the school district says it's looking into it. The state says it's monitoring the situation, too. How long has uh, this guy been the assistant principal or in any kind of a position where he can advance or uh, not advance yeah. an applicant? Yeah, I do not know uh, the, the background of this guy. Um, 
I, I do not I do not know this school all that well, and I don't know much about him um, other than he's now not in any position to hire anybody because he is not acting as the assistant principal currently. Yeah. I, it is highly edited, I'm sure, but uh, it's hard to dispute what's said in the clips that aren't edited. Right. That's true. This is a group that it, it definitely pushes the envelope. It, it, it goes right up to the line uh, if, if it doesn't cross it when it comes to what you can really legally and ethically do to try to get this kind of gotcha undercover video. Um, it's you hear, if you've watched the video, it's a, it's a woman's voice you hear talking to the assistant principal. Uh, it's really unclear. It seemed to be in a couple of different locations. I don't know if this was, you know, somebody who, uh, tried to make it seem like she was interested in a date. If they were on a date, if there was, you know, the promise of some, you know, romantic hookup, if she right. uh, said, Oh, I, you know, I, I believe in all these progressive ideologies. Hey, what do you think? Oh, I'm sure there's that. You know, because yeah. he looked so comfortable talking to her that I thought they had to have a relationship established. It did not seem like their first conversation. Right, no. just meet. Exactly. So this was not. But does that make it? A, does that make it? And, does that make it wrong that you know the person got their? I mean, this is how investigations happen. It yeah, seems. it does. There's there's limits as to how far you can go journalistic ethic, ethics wise to misrepresent yourself to the subject of an investigation. Oh. But, you know, with the editing that's done here, you know, it's it's uh, unclear exactly what wh what that woman said to him um, in the parts that we don't see, you know. So yeah. it's, we, we just don't know from the from the video that was released. If we saw but it is, an unedited version of this, we'd probably know a lot more. Yeah, I wonder if he said something uh, on there that would make all of the rest of this go away. But, you know, typically this is what happens when we see police beat someone up. We don't see everything that led up to that. Yes. We see the five seconds right. that we, that people who edit see. the video want us to see. Yeah. So the difference is when it's the police doing something like that, eventually through freedom of information, through court documents, uh, we we get the whole thing eventually. There's certainly no guarantee the Project Veritas is going to release the whole thing because they, you know, they're a partisan group. They are going to show us what they want us to see. Mm. All right. And there's, um, I heard your report on News 8 that there could be some more video coming. Yeah, that's what the founder of Project Veritas uh, told News 8 yesterday is that he's got other videos, and he didn't go into specifics, other videos of other officials uh, saying similar things. Uh -huh. So we don't know who, or even if it's Connecticut, because Project Veritas does stuff like this all over the country. But they say they might release more videos today. Wow. All right, Kent. Great job. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thanks, guys. All right, Kent Pierce, News 8. Is it the first Lechman of Greenwich on the line? Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you? Good. Good. So, what does the first selectman of Greenwich think of this? Um, well, you know, it's unfortunate, but uh, you, know, you have to react to it as you see it, and you know, it caught me by surprise because it's the school that I uh, at school uh, attended elementary school at, and I grew up right behind it. But um, it's a you know, the person is employed by the board of education here in town, which is totally separate from. The officer for selecting, but uh, I decided uh, after meeting with my uh, legal counsel and the um, human resources department that uh, it would be better if we did an independent investigation uh, in addition to what they're doing over there. So uh, that's what we're doing. I want to make sure that people uh, in town know that at the end of the day, their dollars, it's the biggest line item in our budget each year. The education budget. So I want to just make sure that they know their money is being spent in a moral, ethical, and transparent and efficient way. So What's the town reaction I'm, been I, to this? Um, you can, as you can imagine, the uh, overwhelming majority were very upset, but you're getting some people, uh, for whatever reason, pushing back uh, because they don't like 
who did the interview, uh, you know, who released the video. That I found fascinating. I just got that kind of vibe from Ken Paris where it's like heavily edited partisan group. It's like, well, who cares? Right. It is what it is. Yeah. You know? Yeah, exactly. That's my reaction is, yeah, you, 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 even if you don't like uh, who released the video or like how they did it, I, I honestly, you know, to me, even if you don't, if you have an issue with it, it, you just to look at the video and it's with co the words that come out of the person's mouth. Now, again, um, I'll let them do the investigation. I'm not going to get involved with that, but yeah. certainly, you know, it, it's, it's overwhelming, but in, in, you know, in the column of being disgusted with it. But again, there is some pushback. Uh, lawsuit coming, right? But you know, that's why you have to do things the right. You always be careful and, and, Cross your keys and dot your eyes. And, and First slide, man, I'm having just a little bit of a hard time hearing you. Can you move the phone just a bit, please? Okay. How's that now? That's better. Thank you. Better? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you just have to be careful. Uh, cross your T's, dot your eyes, and make sure it's fair and transparent, and uh, and let them do their job. And that's, that's what I plan to do. How long do you think your investigation will take? I really don't know. Uh, it'll be outside counsel. So we, you know, we don't, you just don't want to be anywhere near it. Let them do their job. And that, that's what I'll do. Uh, I heard there could be more audio coming. Did you hear who the audio would be or video would be of? Um, is it the same person? Yeah, that, I think, that's my take on what I heard the same thing you did. But I think it's the same, but I'm not sure. Yeah. I, I took it as the same person. Man, you know, I, was your reaction like, wow, this guy is really, you know, it's one thing to think that, but it's really stupid. Say it out loud. Say it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, and I, it's, you know, once it's disappointing, but it's also, uh, you know, yeah, you, you almost see it, you cringe a little bit for, for the person when you're, you're viewing it. But again, it's, I don't know why anybody in 2022 would think that way. Um, certainly as a, as a Catholic, I, I know <laughs> if I found out after that, uh, if somebody was thinking that way that interviewed me or was going to interview me again, it, these are the words that are coming out of his mouth, but, uh, and who knows? I mean, let, you know, I, no one has, I haven't heard his side of the story yet. So I'll yeah. let the investigators, uh, take care of that. How long do you, uh, what was your, when, when you're watching this, who do you, which, who's your first phone call? Well, it was that night. So, um, I, I didn't call anybody. People were you know, sending it to me. Um, and then in the morning I, I reached out to, uh, HR and, and, and law. Yeah. Only because again, it's a, people, people sometimes get confused. I friends call me yesterday saying, you need to fire him immediately, Freddie. And I said, number one, <laughs> I can't fire him immediately. Number two, they're not going to fire him immediately. They have to, you know, he, has, he gets due process. And so they're, um, they'll go and do theirs. But I reached out and I spoke with the uh, law department and um, human resources to go over uh, this. And I felt very strongly that there should be an independent uh, investigation. Not, it's just not about this person. If, if, big if, if this is pervasive, if so, is it how wide and how deep is it? So that's that's the re, you know the main reason uh, for that. Yeah, AJ has a theory on this. My basic thought is that folks in Grants just pompous assholes. <laughs> that's uh, no, no. He says that this plays into that perception, not right. necessarily that it's true. Oh, right. Yeah. It, it, apparently, he doesn't live here. Um, and having grown up here, it's a very... I don't think he's even allowed to drive through, sir. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, uh, it's, <laughs> you know, I got this when Tom Brady was rumored to be moving here, and I got a call from Boston radio station. And that guy asked me if I was being driven in my Bentley to work. <laughs> <laughs> there is a perception. There's an old Grey Poupon thing going on, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Lawn, exactly. Lawn parties, you know. That's true over here. <laughs> Hey, we appreciate you coming on. We'll probably ask you to come on again as this progresses. My pleasure, guys. It was great talking to you. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Greenwich First Selectman, Fred Camillo. Uh, you know who we're going to have on at 7? The Ooh. organization that made the recording. Oh, here you go.